Don't forget to hit the subscribe and like buttons. Happy watching. The German car manufacturer started a new chapter in the A5 book in 2025. While the previous two generations were available as coupes, convertibles, and five-door hatchbacks, the third came as a sedan and station wagon. The latter was traditionally called Avant, and it was available in regular or sports clothing, wearing the S5 badge. At the time of the generation's introduction, it was the fastest member of its family. However, Audi's fans also hoped to get an RS5 version. It was the station wagon that could be a daily driver, perfectly capable of doing school runs and weekly shopping, especially thanks to its generous trunk space. In addition, the 2025 S5 Avant looked even more aggressive than the rest of its non-S siblings and promised to be more than just another station wagon in the parking lot. At the front, the automaker revealed a new design language. While the single-frame grille was still there, it wasn't as tall as before, but it kept its width. The automaker adorned it with a honeycomb pattern that inspired more performance and flanked it with matrix LED headlights. These boasted a customizable upper side, allowing users to choose between a few light patterns. On the lower side of the bumper, Audi placed a rectangular, broad air intake flanked by a set of triangular scoops that created air curtains around the bodywork to lower drag and cooled the front rotors as well. From its profile, the car's nose appeared to be shorter thanks to the side scoops on the lower bumper and the flared wheel arches. The raked windshield started the low-slung look of the greenhouse, which showed a curved roofline extended beyond the rear seats and ended into an arched and raked forward tailgate. The rear fenders were also enlarged, showing a muscular stance, like shoulders. On the lower side of the bodywork, Audi installed a set of aerodynamic side sills that emphasized the car's length. At the back, the taillights featured OLED illumination with a tridimensional effect and could be personalized by the driver. In addition, below the bumper, the automaker put a rear diffuser flanked by real quad exhausts. Inside, the 2025 Audi S5 Avant boasted a modern design with a curved display above the dashboard. Part of it fronted the driver and was used for the instrument panel, while the segment placed atop the center stack was for the infotainment system and was touch-sensitive. The high-bolstered bucket seats fitted as standard were covered in fabric, while a set of sports seats with integrated headrests was available as an option. In the back, the split-folding, 40-20-40 bench seat could accommodate three passengers. However, the one seated in the middle had limited legroom due to the transmission tunnel. Unlike the sedan, the Avant had a slightly larger trunk, and the rear seats could be folded from a lever installed on the trunk's inner sides. Under the hood, the new PPC platform developed by Audi for vehicles fitted with internal combustion engines housed a 3.0-liter V6 engine. The automaker used a VTG, variable turbo geometry turbocharger for it to boost its power to 367 PS, 362 PS. In addition, a mild hybrid system built on a 48-volt platform used a starter generator to help the engine spool up power quickly. All the oomph was sent in all corners via a system named Quattro Ultra with torque vectoring and an adjustable all-wheel drive clutch tuned for lateral dynamics. Audi will build the A5 at its Neckersalm factory just north of Stuttgart, Germany. While pricing has yet to be confirmed, we expect premium, premium plus, and prestige trim levels will return to our market. However, expect the A5's base price to rise over that of the Sportback, especially as the base engine is now as powerful as the outgoing A5's upgraded tune. That model started just under $50,000, so we expect the new A5 will start in that ballpark. Sportier S5 variants should begin around $59,000. We anticipate that the new Audi A5 lineup will arrive mid-2025. Currently, Audi says the B10 generation will enter production as a 2025 model year vehicle, but depending on how things go, it could arrive for 2026 instead. While it's bittersweet that Audi is discontinuing the A4 sedan during its 30th anniversary, the redesigned A5 promises to honor the legacy of its forebearers with exquisite design, solid performance, and high-tech appointments. If the A4's demise means that Audi is able to dedicate more resources to improve a single car's lineup, then we reluctantly admit that it's the right move for the automaker to make. Thank you for subscribing and liking, commenting. See you in the next video.